Have you ever woke up with a feeling that you just can't shake? Or an intuitive hit that you're meant to go somewhere or do something unexpected? It feels completely random, yet you know there's something more to it and you just can't ignore the feeling. That's exactly what happened to me six months ago. I woke up with a clear vision of myself embarking upon a pilgrimage. A pilgrimage of over 500 miles on foot. I literally had no idea where this thought came from at the time, but trusted that whatever reason it happened, it was meant to be. Despite having just recovered from a very intense infection in Mexico, I trust that my body can take on this experience. I've been hiking throughout the west coast of the United States to prepare for the arduous and physically demanding journey ahead. And now it's time to pack up and start my adventure abroad without knowing when I'll be back or the next time I'll see my home or husband again. I'm Crystal, and this is Von Halle Adventures. Good morning, everyone. We're at my parents up in Chimicum, Washington, and we've got a lot to do today. Um, we have all this like packing that we're doing. Should we just like head to the storage unit right now? Sure, let's go. Okay. I can't believe we had this much stuff in the van. And now I'm like, how did we even fit this in here? it all okay so I have my list of things that I need to find out of here there's not a whole lot but looking at the state of this storage unit <laughs> should be an interesting time oh my sleeping, sleeping bag. bag I need my sleeping bag there it is. yeah baby Nice catch. You need a sweater? Yes, please. All right, here comes more clothes. There's no gators up here. Oh, wait. Here we go. Gators. Yeah, baby. Thanks, B. of stuff to bring in and pack. Okay. It is okay. impossible to pack luggage in a van. It's so much easier to do it in the house. So, uh, yeah. I have so much packing to do and it's only two days until I leave and not feeling quite prepared, even though I have done some research. We've just had so much going on since Mexico. I bought a one-way ticket to Europe because I am walking the Camino Santiago. The Camino Francis route is what I am walking. So I'll be in Spain and France, mainly Spain, for two months. And so I'm kind of going from spring into summer but I have no idea when I'm coming back to the States or coming back to the van. You know, this is gonna be an adventure because Brian will be on tour. So I thought I'll just go to Europe and uh, Europe, I don't know why I say it like that, and see what happens, see how long I wanna be there. I could come back in August. I could come back in November. I really don't know. So trying to figure out of all this stuff that I have, what is necessary besides my Camino essentials? I can't believe I leave in two days, you guys. Two days, I leave in two days. <sighs> the first thing I definitely need to pack is to figure out the essentials for the Camino. 
If you are not familiar with the Camino, this is going to be such a treat because I'm filming the entire thing. I'm basically walking across the entire country of Spain by myself. There will be other people on the trail, of course, but I'm doing this all by myself and I'm going over, but I start in France, I climb over the French Pyrenees, and then I walk to the end of the world is what it's called. So it is a very long journey. It is a spiritual pilgrimage and it's going to be awesome. I know that I'm already, it's been working me since I decided to do this, but so this is a, just all hiking stuff and maybe like a couple things for at night in case I decide to like go out or, you know, have a glass of wine somewhere. So I feel like that'd be probably the easiest thing to start with is the hiking gear, because I know what I need for that. Hmm. I have so much blister. <laughs> I can't. It's the one thing I've been like, I'll probably need this. Mark my words, I'm gonna remember me making this video and being like, I overpack blister care. But I bet when I get on the Camino, Somebody's going to be really thankful that I pack so much or I'm going to have major blisters. Nope. Let's So this is cool. One of my friends told me about this. She uses it while hiking. I want to mention it because I feel like all of you that watch this channel are generally into outdoorsy stuff. Maybe I'm wrong. It's a Kula cloth and you use it apparently to wipe and then it kind of folds up into itself. So, um, I mean, pee is sterile anyway, but um, in case you're on your bleed or something, it, it's nice to have that, but just packs up into itself. And you can just keep reusing it so while you're on the trail, you don't have to worry about toilet paper or litter. So I thought this would be really nice. So I'm not like adding to the toilet paper on a trail, you know, because there, apparently there's going to be thousands of people on this trail. Anyway, I just thought that was cool. Cool cloth. I'm going to test this out. I'll let you all know how it goes. I'm curious. Have any of you used this? If so, how did it go for you? Leave a comment below. Let me know. Hey, how's it going? I got uh, like less a space than I thought I had. Looks like a complete mess. Goodbye. Thanks for your your support. Look at this. Ah. Of course I got my clothes. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna wear on the plane, but I got everything packed. This place was a mess. You all saw it. So super psyched that I am officially done packing. I'm exhausted. I feel very tired. I have some anxiety. I definitely don't feel ready. There's so much work I have to get done. And I really want to make beautiful films for all of you for this. So I'm putting some extra care into bringing some equipment that I'm not used to really using because Brian usually does it. But this is going to be all me. And I really, that's kind of one of the things I want to do on this trip is learn how to be a better filmmaker, a better storyteller. I just need to get some sleep. I feel very emotional right now and just, um, oh, I guess I need to sit for this. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling super emotional after my pack and just, um, you know, just buying a one-way ticket and not seeing Brian and, um, we're just going to have our own space for this time so that I can have my own journey and I'm just having all sorts of feels about everything. I think too, like after Mexico, you know, for those of you that came along with the ride in Mexico and having that like kind of near death experience and um, just, yeah, really emotional about it. And <sighs> sorry, <laughs> there's other people that were coming in the room. Yeah, just having this experience on my own and just seeing what happens between B and I. And yeah, I don't really know what to say, but. I think I'm just really still tired and I'm gonna head to bed. Can't believe I'm finally going. Okay, bye mom, love you. Okay, love you, hun. Okay, right. I'll bring back wine. Ready to hit the road. I have so much anxiety right now. Okay, uh, I feel like I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> How you feeling, babe? 
I feel super nervous. I have anxiety. Part of me is like, I don't want to go. This is the first time I felt like super nervous about a trip. Yeah. Like really nervous. Well, if you weren't nervous, it'd be weird. I okay, could... we should probably get going, eh? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> How are you feeling about it? I feel nervous too. I'm not even going. But I think you're going to do great, babe. I'm really proud of you. Thanks. I think this is going to be a really special journey for you. Uh, for yeah. both of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be there, but... But I will be. But you will be in a different way. Yeah. Hey, the ferry's uh, unloading now. We should be boarding soon. Okay, cool. I have to bring at least like a couple of pieces of jewelry. <laughs> of course. <laughs> This is literally a bag for our YouTube stuff. See, now, if we didn't have our YouTube stuff, I swear my packing would have been much lighter. Okay, I'm ready. I can't believe this is it. She's leaving. This is weird. <laughs> yeah. Two months, B. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too. Bye, B. Wow, I can't believe she's she's gone finally. Man, kind of sad. It's crazy though. I'm not going with her. We're not going to see each other for a couple months. So I'm really proud of her. I'm really proud of, proud of you, Crystal. And uh, I trust that you're going to do a great job over there. I'm just really happy for you. I'm really proud of you.